When people meet me, Biscuit, for the first time, cats, Biscuit, lots of them don't know how to react, Biscuit. Often they'll suppress, Biscuit, a laugh for fear of offending me, Biscuit. But the thing is, my condition can be pretty funny. Biscuit, cats! Of course, it's not amusing in itself, Biscuit, but my tics are often surreal and funny, Biscuit, in a way that the conscious part of me can only dream of. Pebble, dash or pickled onion, choose. So why is it that some people are so reluctant to laugh at them, Biscuit? I think it shows that many of us don't know how to interact with people who are different from ourselves. Ducks! Last year, research by Scope found that two-thirds of the British population, that's 67%, feel uncomfortable talking to disabled people. And at the same time, recorded incidents of hate crime against disabled people, Biscuit, have increased by a staggering 41% in just one year. How on earth did we all get so uncomfortable with difference, Biscuit? I work with children and young people, and they're nowhere near as embarrassed as the adults I encounter, Biscuit. Children are curious, ready to laugh and ask questions. Biscuit. What they ask most often after how do you sleep and what's your favourite biscuit is do people laugh at you? Importantly, they listen to the answers and that's something we can all learn from. Biscuit. But fear of crossing the line and causing offence. Biscuit. Puts adults off finding out things they want to know. Biscuit. How many biscuits in Brian Adams' mouth? Biscuit. Not maybe that one. Biscuit. They're often nervous about even calling me disabled and clearly see it as a negative term. I don't see it that way at all. Saying I'm disabled acknowledges the barriers I face because of a collective failure to consider difference. Biscuit. Pretending these barriers don't exist doesn't make them go away. Biscuit. I used to think that attitude change was a long, drawn-out process, Biscuit. But I've learned that it can happen very quickly, Biscuit. And it often starts with a single conversation. Ta-da! As soon as we stop shying away from difference, we can start to appreciate our similarities. Hedgehogs, cats, biscuits. It's taken me almost four years, a diagnosis of post-traumatic stress disorder, depression, and three different therapists to get to the point where I can say with conviction, that I was not to blame for what happened that night.